What's going on guys? Welcome to day one of week four of the at-home uh, HIT program. Um, today we're going to do some chest and back. So first thing we're doing is decline push-ups. Um, find something, a couch, a chair, whatever, that you can put your feet on. All we're going to do is come all the way down, all the way back up. Just going to light up the shoulders a little more, keeping that core tight, not letting the back sag or anything, right? We are going to then um, take that into pull-ups. Um, if you do not have a pull-up bar, you can strap a band to something higher up. Um, you can wedge a band into a door by tying a knot, shutting the door, um, getting a good athletic position. All we're doing is pulling that band back down here. Uh, make sure we're going nice and wide every time. You should feel it right in the lats in the back of the, um, of the back there. So from there, we're gonna go straight into running for 300 meters. There's gonna be no rest in that circuit. So you're gonna go ahead and fly through that five times each uh, as fast as possible. Then take a five minute break after the circuit's over. Um, circuit number two, we're gonna do um, regular push-ups and then we're gonna take that into dumbbell reverse flies. So regular push-ups on the ground, then dumbbell refer reverse flies. Finding kind of a medium weight dumbbell. Good um, place to sit here. You're gonna lean forward, try to keep that back as flat as you can. Have those elbows bent in a, the same position the whole time. And all we're doing is basically bringing those shoulder blades back together. So right here, all the way back down. Shoulder blades together, should feel this one in the upper back between the shoulder blades. Um, from there, you're gonna take that straight into running 300 meters again. Um, and then the uh, conditioning section of this is gonna be done on either a treadmill or a bike of some kind. Um, you're gonna do A1 um, paired up with some lactate thresholds, which if you don't know what that means, uh, it'll have a uh, heart rate zone for you on the workout. Uh, if you don't know what your max heart rate is, you can look at my website. Um, it'll give you a chart there. You can uh, figure out what your max heart rate is compared to your age and then take the percentage uh, that's prescribed on the workout. Thanks.